Side hustles are a great way to increase your income, reduce your financial stress, and save up for that big purchase. When done right, side hustles can even generate enough income to take the place of your main hustle. I won't be surprised if you already know side hustles like blogging, dropshipping, Amazon FBA, or making YouTube videos. This is what most YouTubers talk about. Whilst it is still possible to enter any of these niches and carve a market share for yourself, side hustles in these categories have been overflogged and are often oversaturated. In this video, I will be sharing side hustles that are not so popular in 2020. Without further ado, here are 6 little known and not so crowded side hustle ideas for 2020. 1. Painting Before you make yourself believe that you are not a professional painter, most people can paint with very little training. The first time I moved to a personal apartment as a single guy, I hired the services of a painter. Truth be told, his job wasn't the best in the world, but it was fair enough to get the job done. I stayed with him through the entire process and accompanied him to buy paint. And guess what? I had no need for a painter for subsequent apartments. The point is, learning how to paint is not a Herculean task. There are easy to follow videos on YouTube that can walk you through how to paint the interior and exterior of your house. On average, you can make up to $17 per hour working as a painter. To get started, practice by painting your own home. You don't want to mess up someone else's job and earn a bad reputation. Approach a building contractor, and if possible, work with someone who has years of experience and who will be able to correct you when you make mistakes. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about your new skill and your availability to take on jobs. You can also approach real estate investors and other painters every now and then. 2. Creating resumes Creating resumes is like copywriting. There are those who have mastered the arts and science behind creating resumes, and there is a lot of money to be made from the side hustle. Personally, I have been involved in creating two or more resumes for college students and job seekers. The hard truth is that schools don't teach students how to write resumes, and most job seekers don't have the patience to learn what makes a great resume. They will rather pay someone, an expert, to get the job done. Resume writing is a skill that can be learned and you will soon discover that the more success stories you have, the easier it becomes for you to write winning resumes. This side hustle can pay between $50 and $1,000, depending on your skills, portfolio, and who you are working for. 3. Furniture flipping We all have that one piece of old furniture that we wish we could trade in for some cash. Well, if you don't, I do. I have a chair in my house that I consider a bad purchase and I wouldn't mind selling it for $10. Look in your neighborhood and you may be lucky to see some furniture sitting around. On a closer look, you'll discover that most of these items are in pretty decent shape. They may just need a fresh coat of paint or some minor repair work. Your side hustle will be to source these items, give them a facelift, and then resell them on apps like Cherish and Trove. In addition to looking through your local community, don't forget to check Craigslist, garage sales, and thrift stores. You'll be surprised that you can get some free furniture on Craigslist. 4. E-commerce. Irrespective of how you look at it, the e-commerce industry will always remain profitable. The idea here is to search for fast selling items, buy them in bulk, and then sell individually. This is the same principle that large stores like Walmart operate on. Because of the volume of goods they buy and sell, they are able to get special discounts on purchases. You don't need to build a website to get started. Once you have your products, create an account on eBay or Amazon and start selling. 5. Growing Mushrooms and Vegetables with the current craze for healthy living, I think you can make a killing from farming vegetables and mushrooms. If you have some space in your house, you may want to consider setting up a small garden. Beyond the fact that you may not need to buy vegetables ever again, you can also market your products to neighbors in small restaurants. Farming is not particularly difficult. There are YouTube channels that offer walkthrough information on how to set up your own home farm and grow specific products. Marketing should also not be a problem. If you move around your neighborhood and invite neighbors to take a look at your farm, some of them will be more than willing to patronize you. I stumbled upon the video of a farmer at one time who rents empty spaces from homeowners and uses them to grow vegetables. 6. Tutoring Do you have a skill or subject that you are extremely good at and can teach others? If you do, tutoring is a great side hustle to consider. I know this because as a growing child, my parents often engage the services of private tutors to teach me math and science. While working as a teacher a few years back, I also noticed that parents were always looking for science, math, and writing tutors. You can become an online or offline tutor. I have a preference for offline tutoring because I enjoy the one-on-one -on -one interaction I experience with students. 
The pay is also pretty high. Depending on where you live and the subject you are teaching, you could easily earn around $30 to $60 per hour. You can find clients by connecting with local schools, going around your local community, or advertising on social media. And there you have it. These are some of the little-known side hustles for 2020.